Good evening, everybody, and uh, welcome to my outdoor kitchen. I'm Dr. Jane. I thank you for joining me this evening. When you're thinking about buying a Blackstone griddle, pretty much everybody thinks the very first thing is some good chicken fried rice. What is that going to taste like coming off of a nice griddle top like this? So tonight we're going to make some. I've got an ingredient list that I'll show you here in just a minute, and uh, we'll go ahead and get started with some beautiful chicken fried rice. So for today's cook, we've got some green onion, a little bit of sweet onion, a half a lemon. I've got some boneless, skinless chicken thigh that I diced up into one inch cubes. And I married these in a little soy sauce, a little Worcestershire, uh, some garlic, chili paste, uh, more, a little more garlic because I really like the garlic flavor on it. And uh, a little chicken stock and a little bit of lemon to help break down the membrane in there, make that really nice and tender. I've got some white rice. This is jas jasmine white rice that I cooked yesterday. Dried out in the fridge and uh, then put it in the container. Canola oil and water. A little garlic butter. This is Kerrygold butter that I put three clo cloves of garlic and a little salt it went in. Some Kikkoman soy sauce, hoisin sauce, a little more salt and pepper, and three whole eggs that I beat together. Uh, going in the very end to finish off our rice. Right, so we're going to check the temperature on the griddle, see where we're, getting, where we're at right now. We've got 380 right here. I've got this burner on just a little bit off of low. I've got a wind coming this direction, so this is the cooler spot on the griddle. Running right around 400 degrees all the way through here. The highest point, my highest spot's right here at 436. It's gonna be the warmest temperature I've got on the griddle. Right in here. That'll be a good start, good really spot to start the chicken, get a good sear on it. Well, here chefs all the time talk about smell of it, and you wish you could smell it. But the, the Asian flavors and smells that are coming off of this as soon as they hit the griddle with the soy sauce and the garlic, uh, the garlic uh, chili paste. Oh, it smells so good. We'll let that sit there for just a minute. Let these onions caramelize a little bit and then we'll start uh, getting our rice browned up. A little bit more canola oil, this is just plain old canola oil. And let's get our rice down. This rice was cooked the day before. It just seems to work better. I don't know why I've heard a lot of people say that. I've tried it. If you if you use it fresh, it tends to get mushy. Giving it time, I put it on a sheet tray, oil the sheet tray down, sit it in the fridge for about four or five hours, let it dry out a little bit, and put it in a container overnight. It just helps it get into the right consistency for a fried rice. I can't tell you why. Normally I have some kind of a clue. That just works, and that's all I care about. Chicken in the floor. I like the chicken thigh. The chicken thigh is a little more tender, a little juicier. Uh, chicken breast has a tendency to dry out. If you cook it too long in smaller pieces, it's really easy to overcook. The uh, grilled chicken here is very forgiving whenever it's that diced up chicken thigh. It gives it the right bite, too. Yeah. Closer to done, we'll add some uh, some of the 
soy and some of the poison. cooking outdoors, especially here in Oklahoma in June, it's very hot. Tonight we're getting a little bit of a break. It's about 82 degrees, uh, like 30% humidity, so it's not muggy at all. It feels fantastic out here. It's a wonderful time to enjoy just the creation that's out here and have a little peace and quiet before a great meal. I enjoy cooking outside. A little while longer, I went ahead and pulled you in a little closer so you can see more of the action on the griddle top. Onions are caramelized wonderfully. They look really nice. Here you can see that little bit of color starting to develop. Let's move that out a little bit more so we get more surface area in all of our products. Shaking another foot. You can smell that chicken. Oh, it smells phenomenal. This is that Kerrygold butter. It's got a little warm out here, a little softened up. It's got uh, three cloves of garlic. Now, this is a, a three quarters of a stick of butter. Uh, three cloves of garlic, a little bit of sea salt. Let me put a little bit right here on the chicken and incorporate that. A couple of dollops here. My fried rice. Get that all incorporated. Ooh, that smells good. right there, that caramelization. The flavor that that adds is just phenomenal. I'll let that chicken just kind of hang out there and chill. Right, I think it's time we go ahead and bring these onions over and join the party. Good 
I'm also going to add just a little bit of lemon juice. So cut through over here on our chicken as well. The fat that we've got going on inside of that with the butter and the canola oil. See the color change. You go from just white rice, it's got a little color to it, to what resembles a pretty good fried rice. You give them a mix. Just put them right here on the grill top. So to give them a little scramble. plate of chicken fried rice. We'll let this cool for just a minute and then we'll have a taste. All right, ladies and gentlemen, there we have a beautiful plate of chicken fried rice. This is very simple. Some jasmine rice. I did uh, three boneless skin skinless chicken thighs, three eggs, some soy sauce, hoisin, little onion, and everything's ready to go. Let's give us a little bit of a taste to see how it came out. I like to do my egg after my sauce, or incorporate the egg after my sauce because I like the egg to stand out on its own. So that's why I did that that way. Some people like to do the egg and then put the sauce on it so the sauce gets in the egg. Mmm. The rice is perfect. It's got a little bit of crisp in a few places. Very, very good. Let's try this chicken. This here. See that color all the way around. It's great caramelization. Very moist, very tender. Wonderful flavor, especially from that garlic chili paste. Just a little bit of layer of heat. Fantastic. This will not be a disappointment. You'll enjoy this tremendously. Thank you all for joining me this evening as we cook this chicken fried rice. I'm Dr. J. If you like what you saw here, give me a big thumbs up. Hit the subscribe button and the notification bell. Make sure that you see the videos that I'm going to be posting every week. Everyone have a wonderful evening, and I'll see you soon.